guys. It's good to see everyone. I am here by myself today. Travis took a little break and we're going to go over our storyboard that we've been working on because we are at the very end of the lessons of the life of Joseph. Remember we started when he was a young boy and he was out um, working in the out on his dad's property, his dad's land, and he was a young boy with, do you remember how many brothers? Yeah, 10, he had 10 brothers, lots of brothers, and they were out and they were tending the sheep, and we learned some lessons along the way from the story of Joseph's life. And if you think back, the very first lesson that we learned, you can look up here on the storyboard, was not to be jealous. His brothers were jealous of him and his relationship with his dad and the beautiful coat that his dad had given him. And jealousy, which, do you remember what it means? Wanting something someone else has. A big word just means, I want what you have. And it kind of makes your heart yucky inside. And God says, that's not good. Don't be jealous. Be happy for others when they get good things. And his brothers were jealous. And jealousy led to do you remember what it led to it led to them not being kind they threw him in a big pit they wanted to kill him but one of the brothers said no reuben if you remember correctly he said nope let's not do that they threw him in a pit so jealousy led to yucky stuff which led to being unkind and when they were unkind remember they sold him to some travelers that were headed to egypt then that led to a lie. Lying is not good. We're supposed to be truth tellers. God wants us to tell the truth. But do you guys see that little trail there? It started with some jealousy. I want what somebody else has. Then they were unkind because they wanted it. And then to cover it all up, they lied. That's a bad trail to go down. So God tells us to not be jealous. Just don't even start going down that way. And if you find yourself being jealous and thinking, gosh, I really want what they have and how can I get it? You can always pray. Say, Jesus, help me. Help me to be kind. Help me to be grateful. And you know what? It's so amazing when you just take a minute to stop and pray. And also what I like to do is think of all the good things that God has given me. And it kind of puts your mind in a different spot You're like oh I can be happy for them God lets me be happy for others so that's a good way to do it so we're supposed to not be jealous always be kind and be truth tellers and then last week do you remember Joseph he was in Egypt he had grown up in Egypt and he had been in charge of a man's household and then they lied about him and he got thrown in prison. More lies led to yucky stuff. But even there, even in prison, Joseph said, I'm going to worship God. I'm going to do the right thing. And he started looking for ways he could serve, even when the situation wasn't good. And that's a very important thing, friends, is to when things around us are going bad and we're kind of nervous and scared, always looking for hey god what do you want me to do right now how do you want me to share how do you want me to show love and joseph because he listened remember god gave him the interpretation of dreams and it led him to getting in front of the king and the king made him in charge of all the land oh my goodness so many good things happened and he was able to save the people there were seven years of really good crops and good food growing and then seven years of bad and he God had told him interpreted the dream that hey when those good years are there get lots of food and get it in storage so he listened and he was able to share and so all of that has happened mm, guess who came I know I think I mentioned it last week his brothers came the dad had sent the brothers and said, go to Egypt and get food. Not really, they didn't even know that Joseph was there, that he was alive. They had no idea. 
But when they came up to get food, Joseph told his helpers, give them lots of food. And then he went out to them and said, hey, I'm Joseph, I'm your brother. And, uh, but Joseph was in charge. He was way up high friends with the king. And so the brothers, they were probably pretty scared. Like, oh my goodness, we were jealous. We were not kind. And then we lied. <gasps> What's Joseph gonna do? And you know what? Joseph, because he had turned his heart to God, he forgave them. And he said, it's okay. God took what you meant for bad and turned it into good. And now I'm able to save everybody because we've pre prepared and we have food. So even when the situation looked bad, this, all this looked really bad, but God said, I'm going to still bring good out of it. And it's amazing when God does that. And it's from a heart that Joseph had of forgiveness. He didn't go back after them. He said, you know what? It's okay. I forgive you. And friends, that led to our memory verse. We talked about this. Ephesians 4.32. Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other just as Christ God forgave you. That's how we're supposed to live. Wait, turn sideways in there. We're supposed to be kind, compassionate, and forgiving just as God forgives us. And that is the most important life lesson that Joseph's life taught us is that forgiveness. Man, it just covers a lot. Um, but that was what the main thing was with Joseph. So what have we learned? Can you guys help me? Let's think again. You guys ready? First was what? Not to be jealous. To be happy for others when they get good things. Then we learned we should be kind. Be kind to one another. That's what that was. They were not kind. We should be kind. Should always be truth tellers you guys say that with me be a truth teller that's a kind of a fun way to say it we should always share as he was sharing and then the very last one forgiveness forgiving others just as god forgave us so friends i hope you have an amazing week travis will be back next week and we are on let me see who, ooh, we get to learn about David and Goliath. That's one of my favorite stories in the Bible. So next week we'll be talking about somebody else in the Bible, David, and how he trusted God and what God did for him. So I hope you have an amazing week and remember the life lessons of Joseph. We're going to not be jealous, we're gonna be kind, we're going to be truth tellers, sharing and forgiving others. That's what God has for us. All right. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing week. Bye.